Hey guys, is the coast clear? What am I doing? Well, I got my CD shirt on. You old people know what that means. And I got my hard hat on, the one that protects the Elvis flip. That's important. So let me tell you what's going on here. This is very serious. This is a very serious, dangerous episode. How dangerous is it? Well, number one, I got my hippie cleansing sage seashell crack torch to light it all with. I got that going on. I have my official safety mask of the channel. I have this going on. Pray for us, won't you? And I think the most significant thing is I have an EpiPen full of hide glue. Why? Well, let's start with this. You guys know what an arch top is supposed to look like? Yeah, see it? Well, guess what? I'm going to mess that up for you. Why? Well, before I get into that, I want to tell you about some guy. I named him Sean Man Dude. He's kind of like Randy Moore Dude, except just the opposite. Hey, Randy Moore Dude. Anyway, this guy gets a hold of me. He goes, I got some arch tops. And uh, I think they're right up your alley. That's scary. Because you know, you know we've done the hobo junk pile. Where's Chick Flick Teal Pointer? You know why? This is so scary that Grandpa Bub's outhouse has left the building. Anyway, this guy gets hold of me. I got some arch tops. They're kind of, kind of rough, but I think they're what you're looking for. Now, Sean Man Dude, let's do this. Let's make a deal. No, I won't help you learn how to play guitar if you make a deal with me. But, let's do this. Let's hashtag Sean, S-H-A-W-N-M-A-N-N-D-U-D-E. When you see the worst arch top you've ever seen, take a picture of it, hashtag it, hashtag Sean Man with two N's, dude. Okay, so why? Well, we're fixing to find out because in this box, Sean Man Dude comes at you with this illusion that everything is fragile. Smart all over box, fragile here, fragile there. And it's not regular fragile it's special fragile like there's something very very valuable in this box so i have not seen what's in this box live i've been told it's really cool i've been told it needs a little work but i'll tell you what let's open this box and see if you're either laughing in my face or you're in Coveter's Corner. Now, I have taken the liberty of opening the top of the box. Hmm. Hmm. I am going to need Chick Flick Teal Pointer, I think. Where are you? Don't run away. You know, Chick Flick Teal Pointer... I got these little Chick Flick Teal Pointers that aren't Chick Flick Teal Pointers yet. They haven't got their merit badge yet. Uh, they're eager to go, but Chick Flick Teal Pointer is kind of trying to bail out of here. I mean, only the strong survive, right? Okay. Mm. Environmental consciousness lasts, right? Okay. Mm. Let me see if there's any arch tops. I'll do that later. Notice I didn't tell you what newspaper it was from because I need to get to them first. Oh my gosh. There is a heat shield in here. I think it's probably from Nassau. 
or something. Okay, here we go. Number one. Are you ready for this? You've seen this one in an episode before. One like it. I think I'll give it to you right up there, right about now. We pulled some binding off of a guitar like this for Fred. I'm going to give you another card up there. A minute with Fred. Ooh, ah. Look at this. You know what this is? You know what used to be here? It was a Jimmy Reed pickup. You had this controls up here. I see a ground wire hanging out of this thing. But it's kind of strange. I don't see where the tone controls. Yeah, that's because they're right up there. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. Look at this. You ready for this? I don't think you're ready for this. Look at that. <laughs> do you see what I do? You see what I see right there? You know what it looks like to me? You would think that somebody tightened up the truss rod and blew it out of the back of the neck, but look, there is no truss rod adjustment. So what this means is somebody didn't like this fat neck. And was running up and down it and decided I'm gonna take a file to this and they filed down so hard that they run through into the reinforcement rod or tried to put one in or something here but that people is JB weld if I ever saw it okay I have another guitar with a headstock like this we've seen that one before oh yeah I don't have to worry about bolting the neck on this puppy because somebody's already done that for me. And here I thought I was patent pending on how to run a screw through a guitar neck. Okay. Hmm. Here we go. Hmm. Peanuts, my favorite. I swear, Sean Mann, dude. What is the trash bill really high where you're at? Where you just dump everything on me? Ugh. Buff, buff, I'm buff. Oh, here comes that piece of NASA space age. Space age windshield whatever you call them things. Hey, check your car. Make sure you're not missing one. There we go. Oh my. There's something on here that looks good. You know what I hate about doing this? This stuff will be in my shop three years from now. I was just in the middle of cleaning this. Popcorn. Oh my. You are not going to believe this. Let's flip this box down. Hmm. Okay. Wow, that piece of painter's tape is not going to hold this back. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. 
Okay. The back of this thing is coming off. Oh, I hear a brace in there. Ooh, there's a brace. One of the main... This thing has tone bars that run this way and this way. It's completely off. The back is almost off completely. Um, there's cracks there, there, here, there, everywhere. Uh, Dr. Seuss could write a riddle about this. Wow. But I'm looking at something you haven't seen. Here, let me cover this part up. Make sure you don't see it yet. Let's look at the front. Yeah, this is an equal opportunity crack machine. Luckily, I have a crack pipe lighter. But there's cracks everywhere all over the top. This guitar is probably going to weigh 10 pounds more once I get done cleating it. But, yeah, big crack there, one there, one there. There are cracks everywhere on this thing. I thought the Bonneville junk pile or the um, Archcraft junk pile had a big hole in the back. Remember that one? I'll give you a link to it right up there right about now. But, guys, there's something here that makes this one worth the bucks. Look at that. Do you see that? Galliano Royale. See, I, the way I made it sound means you're going to want to pay more for it when I'm done. But this is fancy. I like this. Somebody has played this. Does this scare you? It doesn't scare me because the back can come right off and the um, glue everything up, cleat everything up. I might use some fancy. Listen to that. Dude. $400 muffler, $200 motorcycle. That's not the new math. Anyway, guys. Hey, Sean, man, dude. Wait till you see what I do with these things. I guess I'm going to be all right. Yeah, Elvis Flip's still perfect, but we are going to take after each of these one by one and turn them into something. So, hey. Give me a like, give me a subscribe if you haven't, and I will lead you down a path with these things to show you this. Hey, look, you see guitars like this, you don't want to pay nothing for these. Sean, you did great with me on the price and getting them here, and I very much appreciate that because, yeah, this is right up my alley, and what I try to do with this channel is give people the ability to take something like this and fix it up without putting a lot of money into it. You know what it is. If you make mistakes, it doesn't matter. But watch my channel and you will see what happens to especially this one. I love the headstock on this one. And that other one, well, I just pulled the binding off of one just like that. And we'll see what we can do with that. Um, a couple of tin can pieces and the, the right pickup and the right stuff and we're good to go. So hey, thanks Sean. I will see you soon.